behalf of the government, I'm proud to announce that we are investing six and one half million dollars to create a science cluster that will help Canadian organic farmers become more competitive and profitable. Research will focus on specific areas of organic production, such as soil fertility, grain cropping systems, greenhouse production, and food processing. Developing a recognizable high-quality organic brand will continue to help establish Canada as a leader, leader in organic production and help our farmers grow their businesses. The Organic Science Cluster is a result of consultations and prioritization with industry reps from the entire organic value chain. The goals of this cluster are to facilitate a national strategic approach to organic science in Canada, to link scientists across the country, and to disseminate the knowledge generated to organic stakeholders and to conventional practitioners who would like new options. The Organic Science Cluster has identified 10 sub-projects, including 30 research activities that will be conducted by over 30, or by, sorry, by 50 researchers plus 30 collaborators in approximately 45 research institutions across nine provinces. And activities of the Organic Science Cluster will include work in fruit horticulture, such as the black currants here and the apples, agronomy, cereal crop breeding, soil fertility management, vegetable production, greenhouse production, dairy production systems, parasite control and ruminants, environmental sustainability, and food processing. The research is consistent with the current renewed emphasis on innovation, efficiency of energy use, labor and economics, and capturing value-added markets. And we always saw ourselves, according to our motto, which is linking organic knowledge, we always saw ourselves as working with researchers and other people across Canada to, to find the best way to get the research done that farmers really wanted to do. So um, we were trying to operate OACC, if you will, to have a science cluster <clears throat> or to imagine a science cluster long before the science cluster program was available. By the time Agriculture Canada, in their wisdom, and I think maybe that's why they were a little bit slow in coming to this because they're so wise, but they finally came to the right decision and uh, they, they developed the Science Cluster program. It was just a perfect fit for us and as soon as we saw the program we realized we just had to apply because this is who we are. We link researchers and extension people and farmers and processors and retailers across the country that are interested in organic. And this program was just fit for us. So we really like it. Lots of work to do. Now we can do it. And uh, thanks to Dr. Andy Hammermeister, the OACC manager, who will see that it gets done. <laughs> My name is Andy Hammermeister. I'm the manager of the Organic Agriculture Center of Canada, and I'm an assistant professor at the Nova Scotia Agricultural College, and I'm one of the lead administrators of the uh, Organic Science Cluster. Yeah, with, uh, when we had conceived of the Organic Science Cluster and uh, developed a, a steering committee to help establish priorities, um, and there is representatives from all parts of the organic sector on the steering committee, uh, then the next step was for Ralph and I to um, uh, start developing the research program and identifying who could do the research and figure out how uh, we're going to solicit researchers to join us. And there aren't that many researchers across the country who are knowledgeable in organic agriculture. And, um, and you do need to have a little bit of background and, and leadership in organic uh, to understand just 
um, what it means to be doing organic research as well as organic farming. So, um, so for this uh, round of the science cluster, we decided to identify well. We identified nine different projects within the uh, within the cluster. Uh, one of them is communication, but then the other one were all research projects. And uh, for the rest of the projects, we identified one um, university researcher and one agriculture and agri-food Canada researcher to uh, be uh, the leaders of those projects and help us to identify the specific research uh, activities that would be undertaken and who would be best to conduct those research activities. Similarly, um, researchers have uh, uh, the credibility among uh, for organic research has grown tremendously over the last uh, number of years and uh, we had researchers in the past that uh, were very hesitant to be listed as an organic researcher or a researcher doing organic work and uh, increasingly we're seeing that shift and organic Why? is well it's partly because organic has come to the mainstream it's because uh, organic has demonstrated a full value chain approach in uh, production and has identified uh, uh, real marketing advantages and possibilities. The OACC uh, administers the, the cluster, um, however, um, we have to work very closely with, uh, with the Organic Federation of Canada, which is our industry partner that uh, is uh, contracting us to administer the cluster. And so we report to the OFC that then reports to Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. The Nova Scotia Agricultural College is, um, uh, which we're a part of, um, it, it finances or it, it handles the, the financing of the, the cluster and uh, administers the accounting. And so we work very closely with the financial office here. Agriculture Centre of Canada as a Program Administration Officer for the Organic Science Cluster. I work with financial claims and reporting and I'm fortunate enough to deal with all of our researchers and industry partners. It's a very important thing and we really enjoy working on and being a part of the Organic Science Cluster. My name is Robert Fraser. I'm a senior program officer with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. The Organic Science Cluster is one of the first clusters that was approved for funding under the Canadian Agri-Science Clusters Initiative. It's been in place since 2009 and uh, as far as I can tell from my program management experience it looks like the cluster has started a number of great research projects and we look forward to seeing the results of those. And, look forward to seeing the day when the organic sector, the organic farmers of this country are actually able to take benefit from that research activity. We think it's certainly going to be very beneficial for them as well uh, as for the greater agricultural community. As you mentioned, Minister Ritz, through our website, monthly electronic newsletter, and through conferences and meetings. So I invite you to visit our website, oacc.info for detailed information and results relating to the cluster. I'm Joanna McKenzie, the website coordinator for the OACC. Uh, so the OACC website is our main portal of communication with, uh, with farmers, with other researchers, with organic consumers across Canada. Uh, we, have, we post a lot of different content, including research articles, uh, we do a lot of communication through newspaper articles which are sent to media and also posted on the website. And all of this is to help link organic knowledge, so help to link the science of organic agriculture with the practitioners who are going to put that knowledge to use. And uh, my organic wish is that uh, organic become more prevalent, uh, become the norm, and I'm hoping that the organic science cluster will help farmers to achieve that goal. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very optimistic about the economic opportunities and prospects ahead for this great organic industry. This industry has a lot to be proud of already and a reputation that is globally well deserved. Our government is proud to support it and I look forward to a bright future for Canada's organic food industry. Thank you. Thank you.
Minister Ritz on behalf of the Organic Federation of Canada and all the people who work in the organic food business, the farmers, the processors, the distributors, retailers, and the people who eat organic food across this country, I want to, to publicly thank you, your government, the Department of Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada, for your leadership and your foresight in launching this research project. This is a very important step in the growth of this emerging sector. And as you probably know, the, the pioneers who built this industry for a long time have labored alone without much assistance from the scientific community. The fact that your government is putting significant resources behind this project shows us that you have confidence in the future potential of this sector. And we thank you for, for demonstrating that in such a concrete way. This money will be put to good use to increase the competitiveness of Canadian agriculture and to help us to seize what is a great opportunity from coast to coast for farmers and for the people of Canada. Once again, thank you. After that, you, what, is, what can you dream about after such a big project like that? I suppose it would be another one. Um, you know, the, the organic science cluster is scheduled to end in, Mar end in March 2013, and we're hoping that before then that Ag Canada will uh, get the program going again, and we're hoping to apply again and to make sure that we have another one ready starting in uh, April 2013, and we'll, we want to keep growing with this.